Hello everybody, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, available from in30minutes.com. Today we'll be talking about printing from Gmail, and I'm going to be showing multiple ways to do it in case uh, the obvious way doesn't work so well. This approach works whether you're using Windows, Mac, or a Chromebook, and the disclaimer, what you see here may look a little bit different for you depending on when you watch this video or how you have your uh, computer set up. You are responsible for following terms and rules and local regulations, etc. So let's get started here. Uh, I am I have opened up an email in my Gmail program and I want to print it. And the obvious way to print it is just to use this little symbol over here. So you just click the, click the symbol. It will open it up in the new browser window. You make sure that the printer is selected up here in destination. Um, you can alter things like if you want a portrait or landscape. Note that not all printers will show this option, but you may get it. Sometimes you may see other options as well, and then you can just click print and it would print. Uh, one thing you may see on some types of systems, and this is, for instance, true on the Mac, is you can print using the system dialog. And what this means is instead of using the browser to print, you use, a, you use the computer's uh, native system for printing to print. And that might work too, and this will give you some more options. Now, uh, one thing that may happen if you're trying to print, so here we're back at the email, uh, for some reason, there may be some issue with the way that the printer is configured on your computer. Maybe you can't do it right away. Fortunately, there's a couple things that you can do. Now, one thing is to go to this icon here called More Actions, click on it, and then you can download the message. And what this will do is it will download the message into whatever uh, default program will open up an email message, and then you can print from that program, hopefully. So let's see what happens when I download this message. So it's showing that it's downloaded. I'm going to open it up. And what it's done is it's opened it up in my computer's native email program. So this is a Mac mail for other people. It might be Outlook or something like that. And you can see there's a print, there's a, there's a print symbol up here. So if I press that, it would, uh, it would again prompt me to pr uh, choose the printer and go printing. Now there's one other thing that you can do, which I, which I find is pretty helpful actually, if you're having a printing problem. And that is you go to the print icon, and then instead of printing as a on a printer, you select PDF. Now this might be a view within a destination printer saved to PDF. You can also try using the system dialog. So I'm just going to save to PDF. And what it's going to do, it's going to save the email instead of being a uh, something that will print right away. It will be saved as a PDF file. And then what you can do is you can. Uh, save it to your computer as a PDF, and then open it up uh, later on, maybe when you have access to a printer, or mail it to somebody who has a printer, mail it to a Staples or something like that. So the PDF file looks just like the printed document, and the great thing about it is it's very easy to just print from anywhere if you have access to a printer. So maybe if I don't have a printer right now, at least I can use this later on. Uh, let's say I can uh, open it up when I go home and I have another printer there, or maybe I can go to a place where I know there's a printer, or I can send it to somebody who I know has a printer, uh, maybe my wife or uh, a neighbor or something like that, so they can print it out. For more information on how to get the most out of the technology that you use every day, check, go to in30minutes.com. We have books on Google Drive, Docs, um, LinkedIn, all kinds of systems. It's very helpful. Um, if this video helped you, please take a moment to like it or follow me on YouTube to subscribe to me. And you can also see more of my videos and blog posts on in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.